Hey guys, okay. We are on our last, um, our last video for the day. And uh, this is um, gonna be a lip balm holder. So let me tell you the pieces that we're gonna need for this one, all right? Because it's a few more than some of the other ones. So you're gonna need a piece of three and a half by five and a half. Um, and I'm going to be using the berry, the little berry paper. Um, so we're using balmy blue. So this is three and a half by five and a half. You're going to need a piece that's one inch by three inches. Then you're going to need four pieces that are two and an eighth by three and a quarter. Okay, so you're going to need four of those. Um, and just so you know, we're gonna have two that are on the outside and two that are on the inside. So we're gonna be switching our patterns around for that one. Then you're gonna need a strip. And this is three and a quarter by a half inch. And then we are going to need some ribbon. And so we're gonna be using, I think I'm gonna use this ribbon. Uh, I probably should have used the, there's that um, velvety blue. But we'll just stick with this one since uh, I have it right here. Okay. I, yeah, we'll just use this one. All right. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. And we're going to do some scoring first. And then we're going to be uh, ready to go. So on this long side, we are going to score at two and three eighths. So this is two and three eighths. And then we're going to score at three and an eighth. Okay, so that's it for that piece. And if you guys will notice, what we're gonna make is a little book. So this is perfect, a perfect little stocking stuffer. Then we're gonna take this piece here and we're gonna score it at three-fourths of an inch and two and a quarter inches, okay? So this piece is going to be the piece that we kind of wrap around our lip balm. So what I'm going to actually do is take my uh, take my bone folder there and just kind of get it to, so that's what it's going to be. All right, so we are done scoring and we are ready to assemble Again, these are all hopefully quick and easy things that you guys could make with um, for friends. Or again, this is a beautiful uh, stocking stuffer. So we need that piece of ribbon. So we're going to actually put that down first, okay? Because what we want to do is um, we want to be able to put our paper underneath it. So I'm going to put it out about there. You should need about 15 inches or so. So... That should hopefully give us enough. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use our stamp and seal and just put that right across the middle here and then line my ribbon up to get it right in the middle there like that, just like so. All right, perfect. Now we're gonna put our our um, designer paper on the outside. So I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna put these uh, sweater ones on the outside, okay? So I'm gonna just put them like that. So we're gonna go ahead and adhere those down. And again, you can use, um, I think for this, you can probably use anything, any adhesive that you would like. I do think for the ribbon though, I will say, I think the tape runner works pretty, pretty well. Okay, so we're gonna put that right there. Then we're gonna do the same thing here. It was funny, you guys, I went to the, um, you know, we keep a lot of like chapstick uh, around. Do you guys ever use it, uh, like chapstick? Or I used to use Blistex and then I got, um, I, I couldn't go with, it outed. It was it was very odd. I you know I've I've heard things about it, but anyhow. So I ended up actually, and then we're gonna put this small piece right in the middle. So 
Anyhow, I uh, I went to go find some, and all we have is like a really like a, a like a larger like I'll call it special edition. So anyhow, I don't. Um, so we're going to be using one that I actually use all the time. This will not be someone's gift for sure. All right, so we're going to just line them up, put it right there in the middle. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? It's like a little, it's like a little booklet. All right, so now we're going to do the inside. So now we're going to turn it over. And the first thing we need to do is put in this little loop that's going to hold our, our um, lip balm. And I'm just going to double check to make sure that this is going to fit in there nicely if I line it up the correct way, which it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your adhesive on this side here, right up against it, and then do the same thing here as well. And then what we're going to do is we want to line up these lines with the lines here in the middle. So, and we want to get it right in the center. So I'm just going to line up that center line. I'm going to move this over and do the exact same. Line it right up. Because we want it to be snug enough to where our lip balm fits in, but we don't want it to be, uh, but we don't want it to be loose where it falls out, right? So we'll just double check here and look at that perfect, perfect fit. So we'll just leave it in there for now. Okay, now we're going to take this and I'm going to actually show the, the cute little animal side. And put this on this side here. There we go. And let me just, I, I'm just going to show you this, guys, real quickly. Can you guys hopefully see how that's lined up there? This line lines right up with that, that piece. Okay. So here we go. We'll do this. And then we'll put one on this side. <clears throat> You could probably measure, you could put in like a little lipstick or lip gloss or I think anything that's, you know, got a nice little round tube there. And there you have it, guys. And then on the outside, I thought what we would do, so then we'll tie this in a bow. So now you could do a knot or um, you could make any kind of clasp if you wanted to add like a little piece of paper there and use that if you would prefer. I have to make sure I don't give it as anyone as a gift because, you know, it's got my used chapstick in it. All right, so there we go. Put our little bow. And then I have this other piece with this cute little bear. So I thought I would take this punch and I am just going to punch out the bear right there in the center. And... No, I had another piece of blue. Let's see if I can, or red. And we will punch that out and mount it. Or, you know what, we'll just do this. Just because that's what I have. So, there we go. We'll just um, actually adhere it directly on there. Because that is just adorable all by itself. But you could layer it and put it up on dimensionals and do all the other fun and beautiful things and there you have it is that just not the most adorable little packaging oh i just i love it who would not want to get this in their stocking everybody would love it and then you open it up and you could have a little message in here all kinds of fun things but this is so much more cute than just a roll of chapstick, isn't it, you guys? I absolutely love it. These would be great little, you know, um, like kids at school. If you have um, kids and they have friends, 
this would be adorable for them to, to hand out. You could buy a whole bunch of these at Sam's and then make these little holders and they could give them to each one of their friends or teachers or add, you know, a gift card to it. All right. I love it. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. And we will talk to you later. I am done for the night. Yay. All right. See you guys. We're all caught up. Bye. Thank you.